It looks like the trend of purchasing albums in bulk has finally gone out of fashion. ITZY recently came back with their eighth mini-album Born to Be, with Untouchable serving as a title track. The comeback itself has received mixed reactions, and that's better seen in the decline of album sales. On January 14th, a netizen made a post titled, Is ITZY's First Week Sale for Real? Did They Get Into a Controversy? They shared a picture showing ITZY's sales chart for the first week of their past albums, with each one represented by its title track. They mainly talked about ITZY's latest first week sale sales for Born to Be comparing it to the sales of their previous album Kill My Doubt, which featured the title track Cake. According to Hanteo Chart, Kill My Doubt sold more than 800,000 copies in the first week of its release, and Born to Be hasn't even sold 400,000 copies, which is a huge decrease. The netizen who made the post wrote, Just what in the world happened? Did they get into a controversy? Did this not include any of the Chinese mass orders, or are the fans boycotting them? So now let's answer what really happened. Sure, stuff like this may occur, but it's quite surprising for them to drop from almost a million album sales to just around 300,000. ITZY's lukewarm comeback, as well as NMIX's comeback not doing great, caused JYP Entertainment's to experience a decrease in its stock value too. It's something that has been happening to every company in the industry, but when it comes to JYP, an analyst from Shinhan Investment Corp has said that ITZY's comeback is partially to blame. And some are saying that ITZY never had a fandom strong enough to sell a lot of albums, which is showing with this recent comeback. However, others are theorizing that this is happening because bulk buying albums as a trend is disappearing, especially in China. It's being said that album sales from China have been going down since June, and the noticeable impact was seen in the decreased album sales for both Red Velvet and Espa. This has become a problem for companies everywhere since Chinese fans are known for purchasing a large number of albums for their favorite artists. There's a rumor that China is banning bulk buying of albums, which would explain what's happening and will lead to us seeing more organic numbers from now on. If we're being honest, their sales are going to probably increase in the following following weeks because they're still a popular group, but it's crazy how selling a million albums has become a standard because of bulk buying. At this point, artists selling less than a million are considered flops, which is just sad, and we must guess it's also discouraging for them to keep releasing more music. Red Velvet's Wendy has asked fans to stop sending trucks to SM Entertainment. Sending protest trucks to companies has become a trend among fans as they feel like this is the best way to get their complaints across. Fans have been expressing concerns about everything through these trucks, from outfits and choreography to the number of lines and group positions. However, even though they thought they were doing the artists a favor, Wendy has proved otherwise and she didn't shy away from saying it. Lately, fans have been voicing worries about SM's impact on Wendy's musical direction as they have expressed that they want Wendy to have more creative freedom. This has led some to consider sending trucks in front of SM's building to make their demands known. During a recent fan call, someone directly talked to Wendy about the idea of using protest trucks, referring to the group's upcoming 10th anniversary comeback. The fan played Playfully suggested sending messages to SM or having protest trucks outside the company, but even though they were joking, Wendy's response was clear and very serious. She said no about five times and then continued, Come on, no more trucks, no more emails. She repeated the statement again and then said, It's been 10 years for us. We can handle it. We got some power. Her strong response to this has led to a lot of debates online. But before we get to the heated discussion, let us share a few words about the sponsor of today's video. If you share our addiction to Korean reality TV shows, and K-dramas and you're eager to explore more of them, we have fantastic news for you. Since incorporating Surfshark VPN, today's video sponsor, into our routine, we've gained entry to numerous streaming platforms accessing unlimited content within seconds. With Surfshark VPN, you can achieve the same by easily changing your IP address to any location worldwide and then virtually transporting yourself to that destination. For instance, certain reality TV programs are initially broadcast in South Korea and reach the global audience significantly later. With Surfshark VPN, this concern is eliminated, allowing you to watch these shows in real time with just a few clicks. Furthermore, Netflix offers an extensive collection of Korean TV shows and dramas exclusively accessible to the Korean audience, excluding the international viewers. However, thanks to Surfshark VPN, you can promptly enjoy these shows and binge watch them without any trouble. Additionally, Surfshark VPN safeguards your identity online by encrypting all your activities between your device and the internet, so that means even when connected to public Wi-Fi, you can rest assured as Surfshark VPN ensures the protection of both you and your private information. If you want to stream hundreds of Korean variety shows and dramas without any limits, you can now get an exclusive Surfshark deal. Enter promo code KOOKYLIT to get up to six additional months for free at surfshark.deal slash KOOKYLIT.
Now regarding Wendy's response, most people have argued that sending trucks is counterproductive for idols at best, at least for most of them. It's understandable to complain about rookie groups or nugu ones as it's obvious that they have no power over their music, promotions, or literally anything. Of course, there's exceptions to this, one of them being Blackpink. But Red Velvet has been a group for 10 years and have been highly profitable for the company, and Wendy herself says that they have some power because of their seniority. It must be really frustrating to have fans from top groups in the industry constantly constantly sending complaints, essentially speaking on behalf of the artists and requesting things that may not be the best for them or possibly even demand things that the artists themselves don't want. Can you imagine if an idol just wanted to rest and instead, fans would ask the company to give them more schedules by sending truck after truck? They probably feel annoyed by it all and this whole thing needs to stop. Others argued that even if Wendy wanted fans to send protest trucks for her, she couldn't exactly say so because of the company. A fan highlighted how Wendy responded gracefully, underlining that fans shouldn't have to shoulder the financial cost of trucks or spend time on emails as it's the responsibility of SM. Overall, Wendy was in quite a tough spot after the fan brought up the protest trucks because whatever answer she gave would piss someone off. If she had agreed to these protests, it would have definitely strained her relationship with management. On the other hand, the fact that she said no has made a lot of fans mad as they see these trucks as necessary for all the members to be treated fairly. These fans actually said that only a few days ago, Wendy had talked about how she couldn't choose the concept for her solo album, which to them proves that she doesn't have as much power as she wants the fans to believe. However, it's crazy that these particular fans are acting like they know about what goes on in the company better than the members themselves. It's normal to be concerned about the members, but it's kind of insane to speak over the members about matters they know a lot more about. Maybe fans need to listen to what the idols are saying for once. Things are not looking good when it comes to the possibility of Sung Han returning to Rise. Last year, SM Entertainment announced webtoons based on NCT and Rise, titled Rise and Realize, with the second season of the web comic dropping on January 13th. In one part of the new storyline, there's a big change as a member falls ill and steps back from the group. You can guess who they're talking about. One of the passages of the second season says that after one of the members falls ill, the rest of the members have to adapt and work harder to carry the extra weight that had been shared among them. His removal from the webtoon, as well as the reason for writing him off, have angered a lot of fans who keep criticizing the way SM has handled his scandal and hiatus. He's been on a break for two months without any updates on his status as a member, and instead of SM being clear on what's happening to him, they're slowly removing him from everything. Not only that, but the webtoon implies that his presence had been a burden to the other members as if it was his fault that his privacy was invaded. This is extremely disrespectful to Sung Han and undermines all the work that he put into becoming an idol. Speaking of rise, they were recently mobbed at the airport and it was devastating to watch. The mobbing was discussed on an online forum where netizens appeared to be really surprised at a video which showed the members getting surrounded by screaming fans at the Incheon International Airport as the group was heading to Paris. Netizens expressed their frustration at seeing the fans be so aggressive towards the members, even with bodyguards around. In the middle of all the chaos, fans also saw Anton grabbing his bodyguard's arm to stabilize him after he was pushed and Wanbin looked like he didn't know if he was terrified or disgusted disgusted at the behavior. A netizen wrote, It's my first time seeing that kind of facial expression from Wanbin. I understand him. It came to a point where you couldn't even see the boys because of the crowd, and we can't imagine the panic that the members must have felt to find themselves in the middle of that. Some people even urged bodyguards to not hold back when it comes to these fans because if they don't have any caution about the members' safety, why should the bodyguards sit there and just let it happen? We hope that the members are okay because from the videos, the crowds were frightening.